Now let's go ahead and check the prerequisite for business intelligence components. I start with reporting services extension. By selecting this option and choosing the validate, you notice the existing prerequisites that have been installed in this computer as well as those that are missing. One of the errors indicates that I need to update Microsoft SQL Server. I would need to have the cumulative update package 3 for SQL Server 2008 R2 from the following link. Also, I would need Visual C++ 2008 SP1. The reporting services integration is not supported on a report server that is configured to run in a SharePoint integrated mode. So you would need to check that information. You do so by clicking on Start, selecting All Programs, and choosing SQL Server 2008 R2, and selecting the Configuration Tools. Then you can choose Reporting Services Configuration Manager. By launching this configuration utility, you can verify to see whether or not the reporting services integration is set to SharePoint integrated mode. On the reporting services configuration connection, I select connect, and then I can choose the database option. As you see indeed, this specific reporting services is set to SharePoint integrated mode. I have two options. Either I have to run another instance of SQL Server reporting services for Dynamics AX, or I need to change the database to use a different mode. So that's something to consider. Another note that you have to consider is that the reporting services integration is not supported on computers where instances of SSRS or reporting services version 2005 and 2008 are installed side by side. Also, Windows PowerShell 2.0 is installed by default on Windows Server 2008 R2. On Windows Server 2008 Service Pack 1, PowerShell 2.0 must be installed manually. Before installing version 2.0, make sure that the version 1 has been been removed. I select back and I can verify another business intelligence component which would be analysis services configuration. On the validation results page you notice that the prerequisites that have been met are listed. So this section is ready to be installed. The only note you have to consider is that the analysis services integration is not supported on computers where instances of analysis services 2005 and 2008 are installed side by side. Let's click back and choose a different component. This time I choose web services on IIS. By clicking on the validate, I can verify that whether or not if the prerequisites have been met. By scrolling down, as you see, I am ready to install this specific component. The Windows SDK contains tools that make it easier to configure web services. In particular, the WCF or Windows Communication Foundation Configuration Editor tool lets you create and modify configuration settings using a graphical user interface instead of directly editing the XML configuration files. So, in this screen, the Windows Communication Foundation activation has already been installed. Let's click back and choose a different component. This time, I choose Synchronization Proxy for Microsoft Project Server. By clicking Validate, the environment must include the computer that is running the synchronization services and a computer that is running Microsoft Project Server 2010. In this computer, I've already configured Microsoft Project Server 2010 and installed. Let's click back and choose a different component, Synchronization Services for Microsoft Project Server. By selecting the Validate, I need to have Microsoft Message Queuing or MSM Queue. That has not been configured. By clicking on the error link, it tells me that all I need to do just add the feature. There is no download required because MSM Queue has been part of the Windows operating system since early versions of Windows. All I need to do is enable that feature. Let's click back and choose Management Utilities. By clicking on the Validate, I need to have Windows PowerShell 2.0, which is part of Windows 2008 already. And as you see, it's already listed here. So this component also is ready to be installed. Let's click back and let's review a bit. I've already checked the prerequisite for integration components, management utilities, business intelligence components, web server components, AOS, server components as a whole, and finally the database component. Let's go ahead and check the client components and the developer tools in one shot. By clicking on the validate, you'll see that the prerequisite checker goes and checks all the prerequisites necessary for every single one of those components and it gives me a list of missing components. Some of them have the configure option that I can select and choose the configure button in order to automatically resolve the issue. Some requires manual intervention. By scrolling down, it also shows additional prerequisites that are necessary and have already been met. So as a review, in regards to installing Dynamics X 2012, you would need to have a database. 
the database server could be on a dedicated box or on the same machine. Usually for the production environment, Microsoft recommends to have a dedicated SQL Server box. For the server components, you need to have application object server, either installed on the same box or on a dedicated computer. Having multiple AOS or application object server speeds up the operation and also allows you to have a clustered environment. There are more discussion regard to the AOS and other components in this course as well as introduction, administration, and development classes in Dynamics AX in Guide to Learn. Web server components are as follow. You have Enterprise Portal, which gives you similar functionality to the client application over the web. Enterprise Search gives you the capability to find different information in your environment using either a client utility or enterprise portal. The help server gives you the capability to receive the latest information in regard to the help contents from the Microsoft. Business Intelligence component requires the reporting services extension, which gives you the capability to create reports using Visual Studio and using Report Builder, modify the existing reports, and package them as a report library and upload it to the Dynamics AX. Analysis Services configuration gives you the capability to use OLAP and OLTP. Microsoft Dynamics AX automatically creates OLAP cubes that you can further analyze the business data. The client components are necessary for Dynamics AX users to be able to access the Dynamics AX features. So you have a client application. You have now part of AX 2012 Office add-ins. The Office add-ins gives you the interaction between Microsoft Office products such as Excel and the Dynamics AX. The remote desktop services integration gives you the capability to run the Dynamics AX client using the terminal services on Windows operating system. If you are a developer, you would need to install the developer tools. You have a debugger, you have Visual Studio tools, which gives you the capability to create Visual Studio projects in C Sharp language and save them into the AOT. Also, you can create enterprise portal application using Visual Studio. The trace parser gives you the capability for troubleshooting and finding out exactly how many problems do you have in regards to client to server and server to the database communication. Also gives you the benchmark utility that allows you to find out the performance related to those communication. In regard to the integration components, you have web services on IIS, which is based on WCF. You have .NET Business Connector, which is a gateway between Dynamics AX and your Visual Studio or any other third-party languages out there, in which allows you to run AX commands from your Visual Studio application or vice versa within the Dynamics AX using X++ or MorphX called the .NET library applications. If you are going to manage your projects, Microsoft Project Server is one of the products that Microsoft offers. Dynamics AX has the capability to synchronize all the projects and associated tasks within the Dynamics AX. In Dynamics AX, you can also provide project accounting in regard to managing the cost of running the project. So these two specific components are necessary in order to update the information between the Project Server 2010 and Dynamics AX 2012. The management utilities uses the Windows PowerShell 2.0 in order to maintain Dynamics 2012 using the PowerShell options. So management utilities add additional command lists to the PowerShell 2.0. Last note is in regard to virtual server support with Dynamics AX 2012. Dynamics AX 2012 is certified on Windows Server 2008 with Hyper-V virtualization and it will support other virtualization solutions participating in the server virtualization validation program. To use Hyper-V in the production environment, you must download the update for Windows 2008 described in the Knowledge Base Article 950050. In the future demonstration, I go through the installation of every single one of these components. I recommend you to take a look at the complete sets of videos in regard to the installation course of Dynamics AX 2012. Thank you.